Well, we have a number of weather and weather-related concerns for today. We'll talk about where some of the storms were yesterday, plus a look at the wildfire situation in the southwest, where we could see some flash flooding in portions of the northeast today, and where some of the severe storms may be once again this afternoon. Well, we'll begin in Sioux City, Iowa. Hail fell here yesterday, around quarter size in diameter. Torrential downpours as well certainly led to plenty of standing water. We'll continue to have a storm threat moved eastward across portions of the upper Midwest and down through the Ohio Valley. In the southwest, of course, the concern here will be for fires. We've had some spreading wildfires, especially across Southern California and into Arizona near the Prescott National Forest in Arizona. We have one of the largest fires. Dry, windy conditions will continue in those areas once again today. In Burlington, Vermont, this is the view over Lake Champlain. A little bit hazy out there this morning. We've had quite a bit of wet weather here in recent days and more to come as there is a slight risk for severe storms here later on this afternoon and again again tomorrow with the ground already so saturated and more heavy rain on the way those areas uh, including Burlington are within a flash flood watch here and that's going to continue through the day into Saturday some of those watches even stay in effect until Sunday morning so uh, this will be one of the areas to watch here as we head into the weekend elsewhere across the nation we'll be watching for the severe threat as a slow moving cold front moves across the Ohio Valley there'll be storms stretching from the northeast up there in New England, all the way down through the southern plains. Some of those storms may be on the strong side this afternoon and continuing to work eastward as we head into the evening and overnight hours. Behind this system, of course, it's quite a bit drier and no wet weather in sight across the west. Severe threats for today includes a slight risk, which stretches from the northeast all the way down through Arkansas into Oklahoma. And uh, we'll continue to monitor severe weather as we head into Saturday across the northeast. Check back here for more updates.